Item number, SCP-6187. Object class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures The Foundation Anomalous Space Telescope, or FAST, is presently monitoring the activities of all known SCP-6187. As SCP-6187 are currently undetectable through non-anomalous means, no further containment procedures are required at this time. Description SCP-6187 is a species of colossal spacefaring organisms, which have been identified in over 7,500 star systems within 12.5 kilolight years of Earth. First discovered by the Foundation Anomalous Space Telescope, or FAST. Footnote 1. Launched in 1999, FAST utilizes techniques derived from study of SCP-2154 and SCP- allowing for detailed observation of distant stars in real time. In 2002, mature instances of SCP-6187 vary between 25 and 40 kilometers in length, making them the largest known members of the Orion Perseus Ecological Supersystem, or OPES. Footnote 2. The Living Universe, an SCP Foundation journal. Published 2009, revised 2018. Due to their distance from Earth, much of SCP-6187's biology and biochemistry remains speculative. SCP-6187 are migratory and capable of self-propulsion through unknown means, traveling at recorded speeds of up to 0.12c. Instances typically travel in pods consisting of 5 to 10 members and are capable of long-distance communication through the emission of electromagnetic radiation. SCP-6187 are omnivorous and subsist primarily on natural stellar gigaflora such as Dyson trees. SCP-6187 are capable of sexual reproduction, and have been observed to practice a complex mating ritual, which may take up to 18 months to complete. Footnote 3. See Document 6187-Venus for details. After an indeterminate period, female SCP-6187 will produce and expel an egg, measuring up to 1.5 kilometers in diameter. These are typically deposited within a distance of 0.4 to 2.5 astronomical units of the nearest star, depending on the surface temperature. While over 2,000 SCP-6187 eggs have been identified, less than 100 have been found to hatch. All such cases were deposited prior to FAST's development, suggesting that SCP-6187 eggs require an incubation period spanning no less than two decades. Currently, the nearest known SCP-6187 pod is located in the Epsilon Cygni planetary system, 72 light-years away. Few SCP-6187 have been observed within 300 light-years of Earth. This is presumably due to the local bubble's relatively low abundance of vacuum-based organisms. Footnote 4. Hypothesized to have resulted from a supernova, believed to have taken place between 10 and 20 million years ago. However, paleofecal samples recovered from the asteroid belt suggest that SCP-6187 may have been active in the solar system no later than 35 million years before present. Addendum On June 9, 2023, FAST detected a solitary instance of SCP-6187, designated scp 6187 cetus located in the inner Oort cloud, approximately 0.8 light-years from Earth. This specimen is currently traveling at 0.1c, and observation has revealed that its prominent dorsal crest is on display, indicating a heightened state of sexual arousal. It is hypothesized that SCP-6187-1 Cetus may have intercepted radio emissions originating from Earth, and mistaken them for those produced by members of its species. Should SCP-6187-1 Cetus maintain its current speed and trajectory, it will collide with Earth on February 14, 2034, resulting in an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. As current orbital weapon platforms are insufficient in preventing a collision, the Foundation and the Global Occult Coalition have agreed to divert all non-essential funding towards Project Ahab. This joint initiative calls for the construction of an automated spacecraft carrying one 50-megaton atomic warhead, which is currently scheduled to launch December 2028 in order to intercept and neutralize scp 6187 cetus at a distance of no less than 50 million kilometers from Earth. 
as the entity is expected to be detectable to civilian astronomers by no later than 2026, the Foundation and GOC have briefed all current world leaders on the threat posed by SCP-6187-7. Cetus. Due to the scarcity of reliable information regarding SCP-6187's biochemistry, it is currently uncertain whether or not scp 6187 Cetus is capable of withstanding nuclear detonation. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to level 4 patrons Lesby Friends, Alexis the Great, Everborn, and Joe Light. And a huge shout out to level 5 patron Doomsday LLC Prince and Design, and level 6 patron Totally Not a Femboy. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.